Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Alexander Lechin and Fritz's Upsen EX. This is a game from Folkestone Olympiad, played in 1933. Folkestone is a poor town in England. And who is Fritz's Upsen EX? Hmm? Ever heard of him? Well, he was the best player in his street. No, no, no. Fritz's Apsen X was Latvian champion, the best player Latvia had between two world wars. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the game. Alexander Lechin had white pieces and he started with d4. Fritz's Apsen X played knight to f6, c4, c6, knight to f3, d5, going for slow defense. E3. This is known as a quiet variation. E6. Bishop to D3. A6 preparing B5. Knight from B to D2. D takes on C4. Knight takes on C4. B5 attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Hmm? Alehin played knight from C to E5. H6. Defending g5 square, perhaps afraid of knight to g5, and then two knights are attacking f7 square. a4, bishop to b7, bishop to d2, knight from b to d7, queen to c2, rook to c8, black is considering c5. He may even play bishop to d6. White to move, what would you do? What is the best move for white in this position? Please pause the video and find the best move. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this very cool move? No? That's okay. This is not the move. Alehin played a killer move. Bishop to g6. What a move! Threatening bishop takes pawn on f7. Knight takes knight on e5. If black plays the obvious move, pawn takes bishop, then queen takes on g6 check, king to e7, knight to f7, forking the queen and the rook, and after queen to e8, knight takes rook, winning for white. So Fritz's ups and X capture the knight. Knight takes knight. Rook to c7, defending f7 square. But this move has a downside. What would you do now in this position if you had white pieces? Hmm? Alehin played the best move. Bishop to a5, pinning the rook. f takes on g6. Queen takes pawn on g6 check. King to e7. Knight to f7, forking the queen and the rook. Queen to e8. Knight takes rook. Rook to c8, saving the rook. Bishop to b4 check. c5. Bishop takes on c5. Rook takes bishop. d takes on c5. Bishop to e4. Attacking the queen. Queen takes queen. Knight takes queen. Upson EX is hoping to trap white knight. And then he would have three light pieces against two rooks. He would have a chance then. How to save the knight? What would you do? Alehin played f3. Bishop to d3, still controlling g6 square. How would you continue now? White played a move and black resigned. The move is a takes on b5, black resigned. In view of this continuation, pawn takes pawn. Well, if bishop takes on b5, 
white knight is escaping. So let's have a look what happens if pawn takes pawn. If pawn takes pawn, rook to a7 check, king to d8, but now knight to f7 check, and the white knight escapes and becomes a star of the show with offers from Hollywood. Just kidding. King to c8. Rook to a8 check, extraying the knight. Defending the knight. Then knight to e5 check, forking the king and the bishop. After king to e7, knight takes bishop. And we can stop here. And let's go back to this very interesting position. This is the position. Did you find the killer move? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.